Good evening. A man who ran an unlicensed waste collection service has been sent to jail after repeatedly dumping rubbish, including sofas, builder's rubble and mattresses, at sites across Birmingham. Andrew Smithson falsely claimed he ran a legitimate business and all his waste was recycled. But instead of disposing of the waste properly, he fly-tipped. Today, Smithson and another man who helped him were given jail sentences, as Charlotte Cross reports. Caught in the act. Andrew Smithson, seen here in grey with an unknown accomplice, drags sofas and other rubbish from his van and leaves it at the side of the road. 31-year-old Smithson, who's from Great Bar, pleaded guilty to a six-month scam, posting online adverts claiming to be a licensed waste carrier. In reality, he was dumping the rubbish on streets and housing estates across Birmingham. He was jailed for two and a half years and disqualified from driving for 51 months. He employed driver Joe Ducille for some of the jobs. Leaving today's hearing with family, Ducille said he'd been struggling to find work. I don't work. give up. And I did have desperation, yeah? Uh, yeah, so yeah. Sorry. All right. Do you regret what you did? Yes, you do. Yeah, I do regret it. But you know what? There's more things to come, so stay tuned. Anything to say to the people whose streets you dump that waste on, Joel? Listen, listen. Joe, don't say nothing. He was given a 10-month prison sentence, suspended for 18 months, as well as 100 hours of unpaid work. Prosecutors say they made between five and £20,000 by not getting the proper licences or paying to legally get rid of the waste. The court heard this was a deliberate attempt to make money from an illegal business. Judge Murray Creed said they'd not only undermined legitimate waste disposal companies, but they'd impacted on the quality of life here in Birmingham. He added, your actions also led to considerable cost in putting things right. Fly tipping like this, which appeared in a country lane in Maidley in Staffordshire earlier this year, is a huge problem for local councils. Last year alone, in Birmingham, there were more than 12,000 reports of dumping, costing over a million pounds to remove. In Stoke, 7,000 incidents cost the council just over £450,000. And in Walsall, a similar amount was spent, cleaning up after around 4,500 incidents. Council bosses say they hope tougher sentences will help bring those figures down. Certainly the council's getting tough on um, a fly tipping. I think the, the sentence today sends a real message. It's a positive message that if you're caught fly tipping, uh, then in essence the, uh, the courts will take it seriously and there is a possibility you will go to prison. Well, for more on this, let's speak to Charlotte Cross, who's at Essington in Staffordshire. And Charlotte, it's fair to say that people get really cross about this type of crime, don't they? Yes, this kind of thing really does get people very angry and you can understand why. I'm at an abandoned pub in Essington and if we just take a look at what's surrounding my feet, we've got old car parts, we've got household rubbish, we've got food wrappers and on the other side of the car park just behind me, we've got kitchen appliances, there are mattresses, pieces of furniture, all of which have been abandoned here, not only of course causing a blight on the landscape, but as we've just heard, costing councils thousands of pounds every year to tidy up. But there is some news for optimism at the moment, as we've just heard from Tony Quigley, the enforcement officer at Birmingham City Council. He told me that councils across the West Midlands are now making this a top priority, tackling fly tipping. And we are seeing the first signs of progress in that, of course. Today, a two and a half year sentence handed out. And earlier this week, a man from Warsaw was given a six month Court. sentence also for fly tipping. Actually, the first person from Warsaw ever to be sentenced for that offence. And there is also, of course, some things that members of the public can do as well, ensuring people they hire are licensed and registered as waste carriers and making sure they see their registration certificate before they hire them. Well, let's hope it all helps. Charlotte, thank you very much. West Midlands Police.